Now we can uh, advance in the knowledge of uh, Parati Plus analysis with CPage and we take uh, uh, the model of the previous video and we do some modification. Uh, now su suppose that uh, we want to do the watering operation and minimize uh, the pumping operation. Uh, this can be done by adding a soil plug uh, inside the excavation. This can be modeled with Parati Plus uh, quite simply. So let's now modify a little bit the stratigraphy in order to provide a soil layer corresponding with uh, the soil plug. Now the, the toe elevation is minus 15 and we consider a, a, a soil plug or an impervious barrier, barrier from minus uh, 15, 2 meter, 3 meter, let's say 3 meter thick. So let's go to catalog and stratigraphy. Uh, now we have one soil and we add uh, additional soil, add soil, add soil. So uh, we take the soil number 2, that, that in, to which we have applied the same soil property as in the surrounding soil to elevation minus 12 and uh, another soil to elevation minus 15 okay so what happens is that uh, now there are three soils three soils uh, one soil is from top down to minus 12 and then there is a, a soil layer from minus 12 to minus 15 and, uh, uh, and a, a third soil downwards uh, at stage number two, we assume that uh, there is uh, uh, to through soil improvement, uh, there is uh, uh, we, we we realize uh, uh, we, we construct a soil uh, impervious barrier here, like for example using jet grouting. Uh, jet grouting uh, operation will provide uh, a much lower permeability in this part and uh, increase the strength and also the stiffness. Uh, this can be done by uh, modifying the, the property of this soil uh, at, from this stage on. So it is, uh, we take uh, an advanced uh, feature of Paratia Plus and we take modify soil layer. We add a new modification from this section from stage 2, the side resi resisting and the soil layer is the second one. What we do is to reduce, let's say, by two order of magnitude the permeabilities. And also we uh, provide some uh, cohesion due to the cementation provided by grouting the soil, let's say 200 kilopascal. And as for elastic property, we may apply a stiffness multiplier, that is, let's say, two, 200 times the original soil um, elastic properties. Okay. Uh, this modification is shown as a hatched zone here in the motor, so you can see what happens exactly. Uh, we can also take a look to permeability table. Okay, we see that the permeabilities are modified. Now we must run analysis, but in this case the um, the water, the, 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 the well point, uh, the quantity of water that should come in from that, this well point that we have uh, designed before will be no longer uh, appropriate because due to the increase of, uh, uh, of the decrease of permeability of the wall model, the water will, will, would be much, much lower. So what we do now is in this analysis, we disable this well point and we consider uh, a, a, a um, approximate condition of water removed uh, along all the, sur the excavation surface and we will see how much water will come in the, in this case. So we run analysis and analysis is finished. So now uh, we see that the pressure here are uh, 
a little bit modified. What we can see is that the, if we look at the numerical value, the pressure at elevation mine 15 on the left side will be 99.35 kilopascal. That is very near to the pressure, uh, hydrostatic pressure with respect to the original water table. So, uh, as expected, all the head loss will come along this uh, uh, soil plaque due to the fact that this permeability is much lesser. Uh, this can be uh, appreciated also by looking at the water pressures. The water pressures are essentially hydrostatics in the surrounding soil out of the soil plug. And the excess pressure that essentially are related to head loss, are con the, the, the iso curves of, uh, are essentially concentrated in the soil plug zone. Now, excuse me. Now to uh, to see, of course, uh, to 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 consider this uh, separate pay, uh, part paratia uh, plus as generated a special mesh con mesh considering this uh, discontinuity in uh, soil properties. So the mesh is different. We use the flow, now we flow inspector, to see how much is the flow required to be pumped off in this case. And it is 6 times 10 at minus 6. That is much lower than the value we, we estimated before that, if you remember, was around 1 times 10 at minus 4 square meter per second. So the soil plug is uh, um, as the role of reducing uh, very much the, um, the amount of water to be pumped off. Of course, if the soil if the soil plug is made well, it is appropriate. Now, what is important is now can, we we can also see now which is the water pressure uh, along the model by using another um, another uh, tool that I call we call uh, pressure inspector. Pressure inspector is simply uh, a point where you can move around along the model and see how much is the pressure. You see that here the pressure out of uh, the plug is essentially we has the, the hydraulic head that reach the uh, the water table in the surrounding soil and this is also what happens just below the soil plug. So below the soil plug, the water pressure are essentially governed by the head, uh, the, the, the water table in the surrounding soil. So what happens is that the reduction of the water pressure then become dramatical in, in the soil, in the soil plug, and out of the soil plug, uh, in this zone, the water pressure just depends on the water table we, as we applied in this uh, uh, in this part. So, of course, uh, uh, now uh, once uh, we have uh, reduced uh, the, 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 the requirement for pumps, uh, my, our concern may be if this uh, zone is uh, actually stable due to the possibility of uh, uplift. Up, important uplift for uplift forces in uh, upward in this zone uh, we can we can uh, do like for example we can check it by calculating the water pressure in some points around here okay and so on uh, again, we can calculate the resultant of uh, the water pressure uh, at the base of the soil plug and so on. And then we, we must estimate the weight of the soil 
from the excavation to down to the soil plug and see what is uh, the, 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 the safety factor. To do so, uh, Paratip Plus offers a very, a very simple uh, yet effective uh, tool to do this calculation uh, using another inspector that I co we call piping inspector. With piping inspector that is very uh, seems to be very similar to the flow inspector. We, ins we what we do is we encompass the zone of interest. And if the zone is a uh, uh, can be can can be can be calcul in this zone can be calculated the uplift uh, um, safety factor. The program says that you, but by simply clicking, you will have all all you want. So what you in, in this case, the program calculate the U base that is the resultant of uh, the uh, pore pressure at the base, and we calculate the soil weight and the water weight, if any, in this uh, control volume, and calculate the ratio of uh, the uh, weight divided by the ratio of the pressure. This gives an idea of a safety factor. In this case we have 1.6 uh, safety factor that for temporary that may be good. Uh, uh, we remember that Eurocode may claim about 1.1. And also, uh, the piping safety factor is computed. The piping safety factor is uh, a factor, uh, the factor that is normally used to calculate uh, the, 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 the safety with respect to um, piping condition. If, uh, this is explained in the user guide manual. Let's take the user guide manual and Let's go to uh, okay. Let's go to the discussion uh, about uh, uh, the safety factor. As I say, the uplift uh, uh, safety factor is the, the factor. It, it is uh, defined as the ratio of the uh, balancing load with uh, to the uplift uh, uh, hydraulic force that is the ratio recommended by Eurocode whereas the Terzaghi factor is uh, essentially um, a ratio that is expressed in terms of uh, just effective stresses as uh, normally this uh, ratio uh, reduced to the calculation of uh, the uh, exit gradient with respect to the uh, um, is the ratio of the uh, critical uh, gradient with respect to the exit gradient. Uh, the details are contained here and the uh, Tersaghi safety factor must be around more than 3 normally. So we see that uh, doing this uh, quite simple calculation we can have quite advanced uh, response for from Paratia Plus. Of course, engineering skill is still a necessary requirement doing this analysis. Uh, Paratia Plus is a tool to assist the user in doing his calculation with and employing his skill. Thank you.